Hello, and welcome to the Hearts of Iron 4 modding tutorial. Today we will show you more map modding features, including how you edit the map files and how to add and edit provinces. To do this, we will add an island to the game and give it to the nation we have made in the previous tutorials. The map files. First, we need to understand the map files. Navigate to your Hearts of Iron 4 slash map folder. This is where all files related to the game's maps is stored. The Hearts of Iron 4 map is generated using six bitmap image files. Textures used for rendering the map are stored as .dds image files in the terrain folder. For this tutorial, we will not touch these files. When map modding, the six files we need to edit are heightmap.bmp, which creates the 3D terrain of the map and defines where water is rendered, provinces.bmp, which defines where every land and sea province in the game is located, rivers.bmp, which defines where rivers are located, terrain.bmp, which defines the terrain on the map, such as plains, mountains, and deserts. This also is used to determine what textures are shown on the map for these provinces. Trees.bmp, which defines where trees are located on the map. Please note, you will need to use image editing software that allows for bitmap image editing when preserving the file's bit depth. Recommended editors are Photoshop and GIMP. When saving these files, they must be saved as BMP files with the same settings as the original files. This is easy to do by default because when saving a file after editing, the settings are preserved. So long as you edit the original files directly, or paste your edited files back into the original files before saving, you will not have to worry about this. For more in-depth information on what this means, you can see the Notes section of the Hearts of Iron 4 wiki map modding page. Finally, we will need to look at the definition.csv file. This file is what defines the IDs for each province in the game, as well as the color it is represented by in the provinces.bmp file, the terrain type of the province, whether the province is coastal or not, and more. More on this later. A tip when editing the map is to make a working file using each of the above map files as layers in a single file in your image editor of choice. This will allow you to use each map as a reference to each other when editing a different map. Note that this will not work with the trees.bmp map file due to it being a different image size to the other files. When saving each map type using this method, it is important to copy the layer from your working file to the map file used by the game and save it there. This is to preserve the image settings. Adding an island. To add the island to the map, we have to add the island to the height map BMP file. Copy the height map BMP file to the mods map folder, then open it in your image editor. This file is an 8-bit grayscale bitmap file, meaning that the file can only be made of black, white, and any shade of gray in between. This is done on a scale between 0 and 255, and when displayed in-game, 0, black, is the lowest possible part of the map, 255, white, is the highest possible part of the map, and anything below 95 is rendered as water. Using the image editor, add your island to a location on the map using the RGB color 95, 95, 95, that being the land just above sea level. A tip here is to use a template layer in your working file that you can use as an easy reference when editing all the map files. In this example, the template in solid white was drawn and then positioned where we want the island to be. Then on the height map layer, the template was used to fill in the same spot on the height map with the 95 gray color. Use colors lighter than the sea level color to make hills and even mountains. You will need to use your artistic skills here to ensure a gradual change in color to make a smooth height map in game. Use colors darker than sea level color to blend the island into the sea. In this example, we made the island using just a mouse with a soft brush tool and a low opacity. When done, save the map file keeping the same 8-bit grayscale settings. Terrain. Next, we will add terrain to our island. The island will mostly be plains, but will contain a city, a forest, hills, and a mountain. First, copy the terrain.bmp file to the mods map folder and open it in your image editor. The terrain map file is an 8-bit indexed file, meaning that it can only contain specific colors. Each of these colors represents a terrain type on the map. For a full list of these colors, what terrain they represent, and the textures used for them, please see the terrain section of the Hearts of Iron 4 wiki map modding page. If using a working file, you can use the height map as a reference when working on this file. First, fill in the island with the plains color, 
which in the RGB values is 86, 124, 27. Next, we can add a forest. For some terrains, there are multiple colors that represent that terrain type. These have different textures assigned to them and are used to improve the appearance of the map. If we look at examples across the rest of the map, we can see these two values of green, 6, 200, 11, and 0, 86, 6, are both used to make forests. The lighter green is used around the edge of the forest, while the darker green is used for the interior. We will copy this for our forest. Next, we will add hills and then a mountain using the same system but with the appropriate hills and mountain colors. You can also add a pure white color, 255, 255, 255, for snow-capped mountains that have a permanent snow texture applied to them. We will now add a city to the map using the yellow city color, 240, 255, 0. Finally, save your changes to the map while ensuring you keep the same settings as before. Trees. When we add the forest terrain to the terrain map, it will only draw a forest texture on the map. To have the 3D models of the trees appear, we need to update the trees.bmp file. The trees.bmp file is not the same size as the rest of the map files. This means that matching the location to the placement of trees can involve a bit of trial and error. To start with, copy the trees.bmp file to your mod folder, then open it in your image editor. A recommended way to add trees is by copying the tree file to a new working file in your image editor with the same dimensions as the tree file. Then, on a new layer, add the terrain map and scale it down to match the size of the tree file. We can now use this as a reference to where we would like to place trees. The trees file is an 8-bit index file with only specific colors that determines the type of trees to be used. There are three types of trees palm trees, jungle trees, and forest trees, and they can either be sparse or dense. The game renders the trees based on the pixel locations on the map with large clusters of pixels forming large forests. Add trees to your island. In this example, we are using a sparse forest with a dense forest at its center. Try to align it so that you can see the tree's terrain color using the terrain map as a reference. Once this is done, copy your trees file with the new trees added back to the original trees file. Then save it using the same settings. You might need to attempt this several times before getting the trees in a location that you are happy with. Adding a river. To add a river to the map, first copy the rivers.bmp map file to your mods folder, then open it in your image editor. Like the terrain map, this file is an 8-bit index file with only specific colors allowed. Pure white is used to denote the land, while a gray color is used for wherever water appears on the map. Then there are 11 colors to define the rivers. The first three are green, 0, 255, 0, which denotes where a river starts. Red, 255, 0, 0, which is used to join one river to another river. And yellow, 255, 252, 0 which is used to split a river. The remaining eight colors are shades of blue, from light to dark, where light is a narrow river and dark is a wide river. For a list of these colors, please visit the rivers section of the Hearts of Iron 4 wiki map modding page. First, use pure white to outline the island. This has no effect in game and is only to make drawing the rivers easier. To make our river, first place a single pixel of green to the place on the map where you want your river to start. Then, use a light blue color to draw the river to the coast. It is important when drawing rivers to ensure that the river is only one pixel wide, is a continuous line, and does not meet any other rivers at a corner pixel. To make your river wider, change your blue color to any of the darker blue selections. If you are unsure which one you would like to use, you can use the existing rivers in the game as a reference. Finally, let's make a second river that joins the first river. Place a red pixel adjacent to any flat point on the first river. Then draw a second river joining to that red pixel. You do not need to add a green river source for rivers that join onto a river that already has a green pixel. Finally, we can save the rivers map file using the same settings as the original file. The definition file. Before we add provinces to our island, we will first look at the definition file. The definition file is a comma-separated value file that contains a list of every province in the game along with extra information relating to that province. 
The file can be opened in any text editor. If you look at the file, you can see that each line contains a definition for a province with each piece of information related to that province separated by a semicolon. In order from left to right, each definition consists of the province ID, the red, green, and blue value of the province color, the province type, which is either land, sea, or lake, if it is coastal, as a true or false value, the terrain type of the province, and which continent the province is part of as a number. When we add provinces to the game, you can either add them by hand to this file, or you can let the game automatically add any new provinces that it detects in the provinces.bmp file to the definition file. For now, copy the definition.csv file to our mods main folder. Adding new provinces. To add new provinces, copy the provinces BMP map file to your mods map folder, then open it in your editor. The province file is made up of individual uniquely colored blobs that are used to make the provinces in game. Provinces must be a unique color from all other provinces, must not meet at a cross shaped border between four provinces, must be more than eight pixels in size. It is also suggested that provinces contain the majority of one terrain type as per the terrain map and do not cross rivers. This is due to how the game calculates terrain types and river crossings. When adding new provinces, you can use the definitions.csv file as a reference to check that the color of the province you are adding has not already been used by a different province. To do this, just search in the definitions file for the RGB value of the province color you wish to add, separated by semicolons. If you cannot find it in the file, then it is safe to use that color. Add new provinces to your island using the preceding guidelines. We will add a province for the city, three for the forest, two for the hills, and one for the mountains, and then the remaining provinces for the plains. Now save the province map using the same settings as the original map, updating provinces with the nudge tool. As stated earlier, we can either add these provinces by hand to the definitions file or allow the game to auto-generate them. To let the game auto-generate the provinces, simply start the game with debug mode enabled. Once you get to the main menu, you can see an error about the game's map that prompts you to go to the nudge tool. Press OK, then press Nudge to open the Nudge tool. We can zoom in and see our island. We can now use the Database tool to edit the provinces to make sure that we have the correct information in the Defines file. First, we will mark the new provinces as coastal if they are connected to the ocean. Click on the Database button, then click on the Coastal button. You can see that coastal land and sea provinces are marked with a yellowish hash. Our island is not marked by the yellow. We can edit this by hand by clicking on the provinces, or we can press the Generate button. This will automatically check the provinces to see if they are coastal and apply the correct value if it detects that they are coastal or not. Once done, press Save. Please note that you will not see any new markings appear on the map unless you leave the database option and reselect. Do this now and click on Coast again to see our changes. Now we will do this for the train. Leave the database tool by clicking on any other tool, then press database again, and now terrain. Our island is marked with a red hash. This means that it does not have any terrain. We can use the buttons in the bottom right corner to select the specific terrain types, then click on the province to change the terrain. Again, you will not see this update on the map unless you close the database tool and open it again. However, you can see this change on the tooltip when hovering over the province. Alternatively, you can use the Build from Bitmap button. This will automatically generate the province terrain based on the majority terrain type in that province. This will overwrite any manual adjustments that have been done. Once done, click Save. Exit the database tool and enter it again. This time, go to the Continent option. We can select a continent from the list of continents and assign our provinces to that continent. There will be no visible way to see your changes when using this option, so we need to exit the database tool and re-enter to see your changes. Press save once done. Unit position generation with the nudge tool. Now we need to update unit positions for our new provinces. This is required whenever adding a new province or editing an existing province. The unit positions determine where units stand when moving from province to province as well as where they stand idle in the province. To do this, press the unit tool under the nudge tool list, then select a province. You can now press the Auto in Prov button to automatically generate the best positions for that province. Alternatively, you can press the Auto in All to generate all positions in every province in the world. This will overwrite any manual adjustments. Once done, press Save and quit the game. Moving Files 
Now navigate to your Documents slash Paradox Interactive slash Hearts of Iron 4 folder and open the map folder. As you can see, the Nudge tool has generated three files, definition.csv.fixed.csv and unitstacks.txt. Delete the definition.csv.cache file as it is not needed. Then rename the definition.csv.fixed.csv file to remove the fixed.csv from the end. This will be our new definitions.csv file, and it contains all our new provinces with their updated values. Move the definition and unit stacks files to our mod folder and replace the existing files. We now need to add a state to our new provinces following the previous tutorial. Once done, you can launch the game and view your new island. As a final note, when adding new land or making a total conversion map mod for Hearts of Iron 4, you also need to update this file and the three color map underscore water DDS files located under the terrain folder. These files act as a skin that tints the terrain's texture files. Color map RGB city emissive mask. This file in its alpha layer contains information on where city lights should appear when the day night cycle is enabled. The color map underscore water files are used to add texture to the ocean. For more information about these files, as well as more information about map modding in general, please visit the map modding page on the Hearts of Iron 4 wiki. Thank you for watching.